This is called Talk to Me. Talk to me. But I'm dirty. You are forgiven. But I'm weak. Yes. That is why you need to talk to me. I don't know what to say. <laughs> talk to me anyway. Lord, how can I be anything? My flesh, it likes to look so intoxicating. And I hate it. But I can't seem to be rid of it. And I know I can't on my own, but Lord, I hate it. Hate the smell of it, the sight of it, but most I hate that it is so strong in me. That even though I yearn for you, I still listen to it. The wickedness in me, Lord, it is devastating. How can I be a pleasing sacrifice if all I am doing is giving over to my flesh's vice? Child. But no, Lord, I hate it. Why can't I be rid of it? How is it that I can sit with you and be with you and be satisfied in you and then let sin creep in? How? How does it ever look attractive enough to make me walk as a passive vessel of the devil where he blinds my eyes and makes you seem like a blur? How can I hear you whisper warnings telling me to stop and look up, but then ignore you and fall once more? How? Father, the wickedness in me, it sickens me. Child, I hear you. Now listen to me. I know the weakness of your flesh. You are cursed with sin and is alive in you, for you are human, so frail and thin. But child, listen. In Jesus, my son, you can have victory. For even when you give in to your depravity, when I give you sight to see and you look up at me, and see my son hanging on a tree, blood dripping down from his crown to pay for your iniquity. Then you kneel down and in tears of repentance drown and change your direction and walk towards me. Do you see that it is my grace alone that is sufficient for thee? In your weakness, and yes, even in your transgressions, you can rejoice, but not in your own depravity, no. But in the sight of me, you see, when you stare up at me through the eyes of humility, of humble, broken repentance, when you realize that there is nothing good in you apart from the saving grace of me. Lord, I want to hide. <laughs> I know. Don't. You were bought with a price, paid by the altar of light, and light does not hide. My grace is sufficient for you. My power is perfected in you. When you see your weaknesses are true, because only then can you truly see that only I am enough to replenish you, nourish you, heal you, redeem you, empower you, make you whole inside of me. So child, don't hide. My grace is sufficient for you. That is why Christ was able to die for you, even when you were covered in wickedness. While you were the weakest you could ever be, and when you were even my enemy, I sent Jesus, born inside flesh, God manifest, to die for you in your weakness. So that in me, you could learn to be free, to rejoice. So that even when Satan tries to infiltrate his bread inside of your depraved flesh, remember, his breath only brings death. And his attempts at cardiac arrest to your dead flesh are futile and so useless. For when Christ was crucified, your flesh and his were united in death. So then when his body rose from the ground, his blood broke the hold of sin on your soul. So even when Satan lashes out and fights to reclaim his right to infiltrate his carbon dioxide, remember, he only tries to resuscitate a dead corpse on the ground. 
and his breath has no power over you now. For I have crafted for you a victor's crown and tucked you away safe and sound inside of the life of Jesus, my son, where only I am. I'm allowed to breathe into you oxygen that keeps and maintains your freedom and life inside me and child. Even in weaknesses allowed by me, you can learn to rejoice because inside of my presence there is joy in its fullness and no weakness can take you outside of the holy of holies where I dwell in my glory. And child, I want you to learn to depend on me and even in the midst of darkness and arrows fired by the enemy, I want you to see my grace is sufficient for thee. When you are weak and you look at me and desperately seek, then you can see that it is my mind and nothing from you, not even your insight, by which you have victory. Victory in me. Through Jesus' blood. Through which, by which, and inside of which you see. My grace is sufficient for thee.